This, it, this, it's really something. I mean, I was looking at one particular um, meeting of, again, if, the, if we'll pick on the Cokes for, because they're always so spectacular in the numbers front, but um, in, the, in their seminar that they held, it was January uh, 2009, so it was just right ahead of the 2010 elections, where they, where, which was a very important election actually for them. But um, I, uh, the, a guest list escaped and became public. So for the first time, people could see who came to these seminars. And I just added up the, the estimated fortunes of the people in that room who were on the Forbes 400 list. And that small group alone, which was just a tiny little you know, end of the pinky of the group that they had together, was $75 billion. Um, that's an incredible concentration of wealth that's sitting in a room trying to decide what to do about the next election. Um, I, 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 you know, I think um, there's been very little um, um, headway made when the Democrats have tried to make an issue of this. Um, and I, I, you know, I'm not sure if, if that will change, but it, it really is a dramatic, I think, issue. And, and I think it's gonna hurt philanthropy more generally. If, if it's seen as nothing but a dodge for hiding money to get what you want in politics. And um, I think there's already been a movement to get rid of the uh, deductions for charitable contributions or to cap them. And I think there'll be more of that if people think that, that uh, philanthropy is just a, another name for um, buying your political influence. Okay, can I respond sure, to that? Yeah. Sure. Again, there is a suggestion that uh, all this money is going to conservatives and uh, Republicans. Well, I Cokes. think the Democracy Alliance has its own group, which is the Democrats' version. Uh, right. So I went several years ago, I had a student go through the Forbes 400 to see if he could identify which party or which political position they represented. And of course, on a lot of them, you can't really tell. But to the extent that he could identify them, maybe there were about uh, half of them, uh, there were more uh, people associated with uh, Democrats and liberal causes than Republicans and conservative causes. Environment, civil rights, uh, other things of that nature. So the, uh, I took from that that the predominant wealth of the country it's not necessarily on the right. Uh, that may be because a lot of the recent wealth comes out of the stock market. So, and there's plenty of money on the left, and there are people in this room who are out there raising it. Um, the other thing I would say is I, we ought to have, draw a distinction between philanthropy and, and political mean, giving. Correct. Right. Now, uh, right. I agree. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, there are many people who are active on both sides, but uh, philanthropy is tax exempt. When you make that contribution to a foundation, you get a deduction, and a, very, a lot of wealthy people do that. When you uh, file your tax return, you have to identify the organizations that you've given money to if you're a foundation. So that's all entirely transparent. Foundations are not allowed to donate to elections. Uh, they're not allowed to uh, spend money on lobbying. Uh, there are a lot of rules that attend uh, philanthropy. That's, it's, it's, it's a different kind of thing than political giving. The, by, by far, the largest foundations in the country are on the left. Uh, I represented a conservative foundation, and we never had more than $100 million in assets. Uh, Bill Gates has $36 billion. The Ford Foundation has $10 billion or something like that. Uh, most of the large foundations, to the extent you can identify them with a political cause, are liberal institutions, and they fund liberal causes. Conservative foundations are very few and far between, and they are not large. And uh, they may have had some influence. People say they've had influence. I can't judge that since I was on the inside. But by and large, most of that money is liberal money, not conservative money. 